All right, well, good morning. It has been, I don't know, uh, probably several months since we've actually had a trip. And so uh, we've just been working. We actually went through COVID. Um, yeah, and we had the holidays too. So it just kind of culminated to us not being able to get out very much. But we are so excited. We're finally going to take a couple day trip and just head out towards uh, Portland area. Um, and we used to live in New Bergen. So there, there's, a, there's a Wings and Waves park over there that the girls uh, have been wanting to go check out. It's a water park. And so it's tied to a museum. So it was a surprise trip. It was a surprise trip, Sophie is saying. Where are you at? <laughs> there she is. Anyways, she's pumped and we're all pumped. And so we, uh, I need to get over to the church and uh, pick up the, the trailer before uh, the homeschool group shows up because it's impossible to get my, my stuff out when they're all there. So uh, but I'm gonna go ahead over and do that. So uh, then once we get all packed up, we'll be out of here. And so, yeah, hey, thanks for joining us again. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe at the end of this video. And um, yeah, thanks for joining us. All right, we are hooked up. So, and we beat the crew here. So, looking pretty good. So, well, it's gonna be a fun trip. And we out. All right, we are loaded and we're ready. We are on the road. You guys ready? had a bit of a scare. Um, we uh, hit a little bit of snow and ice and I mean the forecast didn't say anything so we thought the pass would be cleared. I guess this is one of those things always good to check trail cams or the freeway cams. Um, but yeah uh, just it was a little bit of some shade that uh, um, just caused us to, to lose traction and so Trailer started moving, trucks started sliding, and we were only in two-wheel drive, and we just didn't expect it. Um, so then we, we slid, and sli sideways, luckily we hit a snowbank. Uh, not, not a lot of damage, just a little bit of bumper damage, but uh, I think that the scariest thing is just not knowing that you're in control, and um, yeah, I, uh, I'm so thankful that I think the Lord protected us on that. That could have been really bad, but thankfully, all the vehicles stopped in time behind us, around us. There was one car that was careening right at us because they couldn't stop either. So, yeah, so you never know. Um, knowing what we know now, with the trailer, just probably, if you find yourself in snow, just throw it into four. Always throw it into four-wheel drive. There's no reason to, uh, to not do that. Just pull over, throw it into four, whatever you need to do. And, honestly, yeah, just be safe take it slow even if people are hugging you right behind you no reason not to just take it slow so anyways thankful we're all okay and we can finish our trip but uh i gotta it's like i have to figure out how to replace the bumper <laughs> when we get back so but anyways it is beautiful out here but wish we could get out of this elevation that'd be awesome so this is where those big forest fires um I can't remember the name of this specific fire, but and they've done a really good job of clearing it all out. This looks desolated really bad just a few months ago, but we actually cleared it up, and so hopefully some new life will start springing up eventually. had some buffalo wild wings <coughs> and uh, we're getting ready to go to the park now so <laughs> all right so let's do this all right so looks like we made it to Old Stone Village this is where we are staying in the trailer for the next couple days so um, looks like you can live here or it's 55 plus on the right yeah see that so that's all good. right so RV parks up this way 
don't know if you can see this, but over there is the uh, museum and water park, which the girls are pumped about. All right, well we made it and uh, we're all set up. I'm gonna go wash the truck, it's disgusting. And uh, yeah, Lisa wants uh, some Dutch Bros. So we're gonna check that out and just kinda check out McMinnville for a little bit. But uh, man, this place is pretty awesome. So uh, I'm looking forward to spending some time here in the next couple days. Little, little, little town of McMinnville, man, who knew? All right, so we're at Shampooey State Park. We're gonna play some disc golf before dinner. Um, looks like there's some history here. Um, she learned it all in third grade, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Okay, so apparently we went the wrong way. So I blame Lisa. I blame Anthony. I know. Who was driving? It's, it's uh, Juliana's fault. Who was driving? We just, we're gonna blame you. No, then you owe me if you're wrong. What do you, what? They owe me a million dollars. They owe me an Italian soda. What's up with you and the Italian soda, girl? <laughs> okay. So Lisa says, look at all the pollen. I think she means moss. Right, Elisa? Green pollen. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so who's going to win this thing? Me! Whoever wins gets five dollars. I'm not gonna win because. But what I'm if bad. I win? Do I just pay myself? Yeah, you just get five dollars allowance. Oh boy. Yesterday I almost won at Mario Golf, but I lost. You got really close. You played with that one? Yes. Oh, well, we got we got a few new courses. We did, <laughs> and there's like four new courses. I know. I found my character. You can have Rodolina. Well, we've, we are not used to wetness out here in the uh, Pacific Northwest. We're used to high desert and this is all just kind of soupy. Okay, okay. Yep. Morning, it's another day and we are in Portland and it's about well it's kind of Portlandy. It's all dreary and wet and you know we had breakfast, got some coffee, now we're headed over to the Portland Zoo and um, Sophia really wants to see a panda bear. So I guess the mission is finding a panda bear for Sophia. So she's convinced that she knows that there's one there, so let's hope so. Um, and then uh, we'll probably head back and go to the Wings and Waves Water Park and Museum. So, all right, let's have some fun. We just got done with the zoo. That was fun. What was your guys' favorites? Um, mine was um, the zoo. Anna, what was your favorite? Mm. I don't know. My favorite was the red pandas. You didn't get to see them. <laughs> I'm kidding. I wanted to though, and there was just nothing but greenery. But the bald eagle was pretty amazing. All right, we're gonna go check out this bakery here.
We love bakeries. Oh, this place is awesome. Look at all that. Oh my goodness. Decisions. Yes. All kinds of stuff back here. and I in our cabana. There's the wave pool over there. Pretty awesome. There goes Anna and Sophia. Pretty cool little park, man. Kind of like a NASA slash aeronautic theme. Slides are really fun, too. Waves are, uh, well, kind of mini, but they're fun. Uh, so Juliana and I are going to go check out the food situation. Hi. And Sophia. I love food. We'll see. Yeah. I'm not sure what we're looking at here, but um, looks like it's mainly... I'm not sure. What do you think? Anything look good? That pizza looks okay, and it looks edible. Okay. 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 That's the rest of the park. Hey, that green slide over there? That is legit. It's fun. Alright, I have no idea if this is showing up, but this is the Spruce Goose, and um, it looks pretty awesome. So, um, we didn't get actually get in there, because we didn't realize that... The, Museum closes at 5 p.m. So we should have went earlier in the day and then, yeah. But anyways, this place was cool. We had a ton of fun, man. Did you guys have fun? Yeah, we didn't want to leave. Truth. Anyways, we're going to get some food. But, okay. Isn't that awesome? All right. So this is downtown McMinnville. And we're trying to get to McMinnimans. But parking is looking pretty challenging. So, not sure what we're going to find. You go see any parking? Cute, cute area though. Okay, we found some parking. This place is cool, man. The Mac Theater. Serendipity ice cream. What do you think? I got chocolate. Mm -hmm. I usually get chocolates. My, my it's pretty good, huh? Uh huh? Yeah, okay. Well, I actually think it's really cute. Little, little shop. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty, pretty awesome. But mm. yeah, what a great way to end this wonderful day. I got a strawberry. So cute down here, ma'am. Mm -hmm. All right. Another foggy morning. 
in McMinnville. So we're heading out to breakfast and yeah, see um, longtime friends. There's nobody on the road today. We're sleeping in on Saturday. So, all right, so we're going to Wildwood Cafe. Let's check it out. All right, the trailer is loaded and we're headed back. Uh, they're already in their their mode <laughs> So but we're uh, we're gonna head back. We've had a great time uh, I mean, it was just good to kind of be in some old stomping grounds and we lived here for a few years and um, Yeah, it was just it's great um, and This is a great spot Especially when you're living somewhere like Bend where it's snowy and cold all uh, through the winter months mm -hmm. This is a great spot for you just to kind of thaw for a little bit that water park is really warm on the inside It kind of feels like a little bit of a break and a um, retreat from the cold but yeah. and you're not far from the coast and you're not far from portland so it's a great middle ground yeah i would agree with that it's really it's not bad at all so yeah i would give uh what would you guys give this give this place here man it's pretty high up there old stone rv park is that what it's called yeah anyways it's a um, great bathroom super big showers big showers like four people can fit in one shower comfortably that must be the ladies showers it's just a single one for the guys but it's really? actually not a small oh, shower it's, it's huge it's a good size but um they have a swimming pool <clears throat> uh, they have they accommodate for your doggies they have two big uh, dog areas yeah, with dog bags, which is always a plus. And you can just tell people take really good care of this park. So, um, but yeah, I, uh, again, I've said this before, but I do like staying in hotels sometimes, but sometimes it's just nice to bring your bed with you, you know, bring your fridge and you bring your snacks. It's just, you know, it's kind of nice. But anyways, we had a great time and we're looking forward to getting back home and uh, looking forward to also plan our next adventures. But uh, anyways, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, we'll probably give you some shots on the way home.